Hi everybody, I am Mahavish from Few Tutorials and I'm back with another computer vision tutorial and this time I'm going for OpenCV, a, an open source computer vision library, a uh, library of programming functions for real-time computer vision. If you've uh, visited my blog before, uh, which is uh, fewtutorials.bracesites.com, then you probably have heard of EMGUCV as well. Uh, I provided EM tutorials on working with EMGUCV on my website earlier and EMGUCV is just a .NET wrapper for OpenCV library itself so that uh, .NET people can actually access the functions of OpenCV which is written in C and or C++ uh, the uh, C sharp people or .NET language people can actually work on functions written in C without going through much trouble and why uh, it's a pretty popular library as I must say because it's a uh, cross-platform as you can see works on Windows, Linux, Android and Mac and it provides interface for various languages such as C++, C, Python and Java. Now uh, it's written soon Java because this is the older version of uh, OpenCV's website. The newer version is up and its link is opencv.org. Okay, we'll move to that later, but first let's have an overview of what OpenCV functions can do for us. Now, now if you know computer vision or you're learning about it, uh, reading or you're a student of computer vision or robotics or digital image processing, then you know that uh, how helpful it could be to have the basic basic functionalities and even the advanced ones available as a set of code that you can just call and use. Um, so OpenCV has over than 500 functions and these functions include uh, general image processing functions, segmentations, transforms, machine learning, fitting, tracking, uh, matrix math, image pyramids, geometric description, uh, descriptors and this and that okay so you can go and read their documentation and see check out which various parts uh, of, of uh, digital image processing they cover of computer vision they cover but right now we're moving on to installation so next step we're going to start with our installation getting ready our system for the installation and then we'll move on to the exact steps of installation